Welcome to this presentation which replaces the Year 7 Curriculum Evening. My name is Frances Dawes and I'm Deputy Head at the Academy. After hearing and reading this presentation, if you have any concerns or further questions, please direct them to me, Frances Dawes, at the email at the end of the slides. Thank you. Here are the points that will be covered during the presentation. I am going to give you an overview of a day in the life of a Year 7, where you can locate information on the website about lesson content and assessments, how you can access additional support for students in times of need, and any key dates that Year 7 parents should be aware of. However, to start, I'm going to hand over to Chris Hildrew, Head Teacher. Hi everyone, it's Chris Hildrew, Head Teacher at Churchill here. Uh, thanks so much for tuning into our presentation. Um, it's a shame we can't see you all in person, but as I'm sure you realise, it's not possible to have visitors into the academy at the moment. So I hope this video presentation will serve as an adequate substitute. Um, I won't spend too long uh, here with you on this presentation, but I did want to, to pop in just to say how impressed we've all been with the way that Year 7 have started at Churchill. Colleagues have made time to come and tell me uh, how impressed they've been with the, the start they've made, with the way that they're approaching their learning, with the enthusiasm with which they are uh, engaging with the task that we're setting them, and with the quality of work that they're already producing here at secondary school. It has been the most unusual of uh, academic years already, uh, the most unusual of transition processes, but despite all that disruption, the students have settled in really, really well. And I think that, that must be down to the support that you, the families, have provided for them, raising such fine young people, but also making sure that they are equipped and ready to learn and that they are coming to school uh, with, with good preparation for, for the challenges that are ahead of them. Uh, they've, they've coped with that really, really admirably and uh, hugely impressed. And thank you so much for all the support that you've offered. So the rest of this presentation, my colleagues will take on to, to give you a bit more of the, the detail about how Year 7 is, is going and some of the, the landscape ahead. But um, I, I wanted to, to take this opportunity to thank you all for the support of the Academy and for lending us your fine young people to work with. Um, the, the future certainly looks bright if our current Year 7 are anything to, to go by. So thanks very much and I'll hand back to colleagues now for the rest of the presentation. As those of you who drop your children off in the morning know, there is always a senior member of staff on duty at the coach loop. Their role is the meet and greet, to check that students are okay as they enter the academy and to pick up immediately on any transport concerns. On arrival, year seven are mainly in their outdoor spaces. We've been really grateful for the good weather recently. You will have seen the canopy on the previous slide. Students who have forgotten or lost equipment can sometimes feel anxious. Please reassure your child that they can go to the library or reception for help with these matters. The membership of our community changes each year. Our processes for welcoming Year 7 students and sharing information have been very different to other years. But our new timings of the day really mean that every morning there is sufficient time for our tutors to not only share information or deliver a Zoom assembly, but to really check that Year 7 students are settling and are happy. During tutor time, there are plenty of opportunities for discussion within Year Group Bubbles and for Year 7s to share any concerns or questions that they may have. All of our lessons are one hour long. You will be pleased to know that after week one, your children had learnt their way around really well and now none of them are getting lost and they move around the academy site confidently and purposefully. At break and lunchtime, Year 7 have a choice of outdoor spaces. Both have seating, but they can also run around and enjoy their downtime. Year 7 also have their own food service and they are forging positive relationships with the catering staff and the duty staff who are getting to know them well. After lesson five, the majority of our students leave via the coaches. There are staff and older students supervising the coach loop. If the students are on the second round, they have a designated waiting area so that they are kept separate due to coronavirus. The library is open every day, Monday to Thursday, 
and students can book a place in the library so that they can complete their homework if they're on the second round or if you're picking them up a little later. We have a two week timetable. These are all the subjects that your child is studying and we have worked hard to ensure that we can safely deliver all of these lessons within COVID safe guidelines. It has been a challenge, it remains time consuming, but we are proud that we are able to give year seven a broad and balanced curriculum offer this year. There is no ignoring the disruption that your children, our students have experienced since March. The lengthy period of school closure and remote learning has made it essential that we planned how we reset and then move forwards. We needed to build upon their key stage learning. For this reason, all of our teaching and support staff completed additional training around anxiety, trauma, loss and grief, as well as refreshing their safeguarding knowledge before we opened in September. During term six and over the summer break, we did a lot of work with our staff to ensure that we were ready to relaunch a recovery curriculum approach. Within the classroom, our teachers have planned how to check where students have gaps in their learning and are already talking to them about how this will be addressed so that there is no sense of panic or work overload. And this is about making sure our Year 7 students rebuild their confidence and re-skill themselves on all the ways that they can learn. And lastly, we are clear that there is a balance with catching up and giving space for the Year 7 students to rediscover, fly and enjoy learning. On this slide, I've put some information about our library. Year 7s have exclusive use of the library facilities on a Monday. This is to prevent mixing of year group bubbles. However, Year 7 can also book to use the library after school on any day, should they wish to complete their homework. Mrs Dibble, our librarian, has put together this information, but she did want me to emphasise that all Year 7s are expected to do some reading at home in their own time. And if you want further support from her, please do email her. I've included her email address at the bottom. We know that communication can be challenging and never more so than in the current climate. If you have a problem, pick up the phone or email us, please. As I say to the students, if you don't tell us, we aren't going to know. We can't help unless we know. Face-to-face -face meeting is not as easy at the moment, but we are working hard to ensure that we do not seem remote and that we are easily available to support Year 7 parents and Year 7 students with any concerns or issues that they might be have. We did receive information from primary schools regarding healthcare plans and many of you have also contacted Matron already to ensure that we have medical needs provided for for your children. If you think that your child's medical need has been missed, please do contact our matron, Joy van Weyenberg, at the email address below. On this slide, I've indicated a range of other staff with whom you may wish to make contact. A word about the role of Mr Cross. Mr Cross is linked to our Year 7. He is the pastoral support worker for that year group. During Term 1, he has been keeping a daily overview of the whole year group, how they have settled and picked up on any issues that have popped up in the day. This helps us to nip concerns in the bud rather than let them fester. Mr Cross has provided additional support for students with emotional, friendship and behaviour needs. He ha also has a regular caseload that he sees regularly and I know he's in contact with those parents daily or weekly. Our parent portal is Insight. This is a two-way system which allows you to share any problems with us and also allows you to look at your child's reports and information such as attendance and behaviour. If you have any problems with accessing Insight or any questions about how to access information through the portal, please use the email address below and we will be in touch. This slide simply indicates whereabouts on Insight you can access teachers' information to email them directly. 
This slide shows the key dates for students in Year 7 and their parents. We would like to point out the internal exams week in April. These exams, or tests, are sat in classrooms. We do not intend to have Year 7 taking exams in the Sports Centre this year. The Year 7 Parents' Evening is in June and we are hopeful that by then we will be able to see you face to face. More information to follow in the new year. Curriculum information is found on our website. To find the curriculum booklet for Year 7, you need to go to the Information tab on the website and select Curriculum from the drop-down menu, as shown below. There you will find details of the topics, issues and approaches covered in each subject area. You'll also find information about any deadlines or assessments this year, as well as details of any recommended books or revision guides. And that concludes the curriculum presentation for Year 7. If you have any further questions or concerns, please email me on the email address below. Thank you.